What's up, YouTube? This is Cameraman514 with a long overdue video of my setup PC. As most of you know who are watching this video, I did a PC build, and there it is. On the right side, I have the 27 inch iMac. This is not the Retina, not Retina, but this is not the slim version. Uh, this is the old one with the optical drive, and that's set up to my TV. On the left, I have my build. And, uh, let's get into it. Before I start, I'm just gonna say I'm shooting with a iPhone 5 with the ear pods plugged in, so through the mic. So I probably won't know how the audio sounds until I post this video. The side panel's already taken off, so let's get right into it. We'll go bottom up. On the bottom, I have my two Vertex 4 256 gig SSDs, and on the right, the 128, and these are just a beast. Um, in my next video, I'll show you the benchmarks, um, but all I have to say right now is just these are reliable, they won't break down, and they're beast. Super fast. This is going to be one of two videos. This is just the setup. Next one's going to be BIOS and benchmarks. Going up, this is the GTX 660. Um, I talked about this in my component video, but this is just got it for a good price. Um, really good graphics card. Not the best, but it's still up there. Uh, this is from EVGA, and it's really good. Uh, I'll go to the right. This is the radiator for my H100. And I have two Cougar Vortex fans. And on the other side, a Kazi... I won't even say the second word. Uh, just I'll just go Kazi Slim fan right here. This is running at around 1400 and these two are running at 1600 While I'm on the front... I did do some modifications, and um, I had a comment from Robert Schmidt about the this thing, the bracket on the front of this, and I solved it by taking the bracket completely off and just mounting it with zip ties. I'm going to put another one on the bottom, but this isn't going anywhere. The sheer weight, the sheer pressure from the optical drive going down on the radiator won't even move so this is just a precaution I'm gonna put one more here um... USBs, mic and uh... headphone uh... this is my Enermax Platinumax 1000 watt 80 plus platinum and more power is better than just enough to for a build. Um, I would suggest more power even though some may call it overkill because these won't go bad like uh, they won't fail and honestly this is super reliable they have technology in here that will increase cooling with the fan because actually when you turn this off this stays on for another 60 seconds to make sure that it takes away all the heat from the inside. And talking about the heat, I have my H100 buried, 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 whatever you want to say it, behind all these wires and cable management. This is actually good cable management. Uh, you should see this when you put it in, because this is actually good cable management. And if any of you were wondering and didn't watch my other video, which shame on you, you should, I have a... 30, 3820, 3820, 3280, well, this is a 2011 socket, this is the only one that's not unlocked, but it doesn't matter, I still overclock it to 4.2 gigahertz right now, and the H100 is on top of that, the heat sink, and, no, you can't even see it, it's just buried in there, um, on max settings on games, it's running at around 55 degrees Celsius. Um, and that's pretty darn cool. 
And the, um, this really cool motherboard, the Republic of Gamers Asus Gene 4 Rampage motherboard. I mean, look at that. Look at those LEDs. I mean, I've got red LED in the back, blue LED in the front. The contrast is just really great at night. I leave it on, so really perfect. And at the tippy top, you got my optical drive, the Asus Combo Blu-ray drive. And many people think that um, optical drives are obsolete, and they're true, but they don't use uh, their optical drives to burn DVDs like I do. This is a mostly video editing build. Moving on, this is a 24-inch Dell monitor. Um, I don't know the exact model. Uh, I'll put it in my next video. But really great. This isn't an ultra sharp, but it's really great. 1080p HDMI, the works. This wasn't in my last video. This is the keyboard I got. And actually, here it is. This is the Logitech MK710. This is both the keyboard and the mouse. And the combo like this runs for about $80 now. So, get on it. This is the side panel for my computer. I took it off. It's got a nice mesh here. Computer's very... It's very quiet. Um, put all the badges on. Thought, thought it would look nice. Little thumb screws. And uh, that's pretty much everything I need to talk about. Um, a lot of people are commenting on my video and uh, viewing it, and that's nice. But not a lot of people are subscribing or liking. And that puts me in the dumps a little. But uh, I figured if I make quality videos like this and no one has anything bad to say about it, then people will eventually subscribe. But please hit that like button. If you found my video uh, helpful, subscribe. More videos to come. I'm going to start making videos on my car. I got the, uh, I have the Camaro 2013. Um, more tech videos, unboxing, reviews to come. So, you know, subscribe me, pin me on that uploads list, and uh, you'll, you'll like what you see. I feel like I'm at Men's Warehouse, but it's true. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Uh, see you next time. Bye.